you need to bring the house down tonight. You have 60 minutes to tell a story. And that's the story of Annie. Which leaves us just under two months to do it. It's going to showcase your best effort. It is born in that fear. Make them forget about how hot they are. Tonight is the opening. We're looking forward to it. I'm thinking it will go outstanding, but I've been wrong before. Today is March 21st, and this show is supposed to go up on May 13th, which leaves us just under two months to do it. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. Plus April break. Yeah. Plus April break. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. This is the schedule we work on at the high school. I'm gonna do it to you guys too, all right? All right. Thank you everyone for attending our read through of Annie Juniors. So we have worked a lot on the music and they're doing a really good job getting everything in their brains and in their voices and we've just started really staging the first part of the show, so scene one when all the orphans are first there and um, Annie's talking to Molly and everything and now moving into Hard Knock Life which is one of our show stoppers. So. Now! Why any kid would want to be an orphan, I'll never know. What type of servants can, should we be having here at, at Warbucks' house? Go ahead. We're gonna be like cooks and cleaners. Cooks, yes. We have um, Mrs. Pugh, whoever Mrs. Pugh is. She's the cook. I'll email those lists to me, and then I'll make it uh, one big list, and I'll go through it with Katie, um, and then we'll start from there. This is probably the shortest timeline I've done putting together a show on this, on a middle school level, but uh, the students are doing an incredible job focusing and committing to the work, and I actually think the truncated timeline makes them kick it into over, overdrive and uh, gets, them, gets them going and gets them in gear. Definitely some nervousness with some of the other materials, but the cast themselves will be, will be ready for opening. Great, 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 great. How do you feel the tech's gonna be? Tech is good. It's going to be one of those, we're gonna add it as things progress through, and I'm confident that with the leadership of the Franklin High School Theater Company tech team, I think we'll, uh, we'll be in a good spot. So it's like the, the piece of wood in front of the, the curtain. We're starting with set build, mm -hmm. so we have the idea of having a bunch of buildings as a silhouette, and then we have a taxi, so we have all the middle schoolers starting on those. Um, a rehearsal done as well, and they're staging a ton of scenes, and then um, I think we started the day with a music rehearsal, so we have a lot of things going. It's like boom, 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 boom. Stand by for Charleston. Over 90 were sold, ah, oh, gee. It's like your physical representation of her mood. I'm sure somebody was going to be my mother and father. Good. All right. OK. Hi. Welcome to Tech Week. Um, our focus for today, we're going to light, we're going to spike, and we're going to be doing maybe a little bit of work with body microphones today. 
Okay. Okay, that's item number one. Item number two, I want to talk about the schedule this week. You have a show on Friday. And yeah, while I understand we are getting up to just page 38 today, there are so many moving pieces with scene changes and lights changing and everything of the sort. We need to spend all of the time here going through what that's going to look like because after we do it and after we set it, we're gonna run it. That's like act one of the show, all right? Great, okay, one, two, three, go! Let's fade out on what we have here. Crew, run crew. Do you guys feel comfortable with your scene changes that you just went through today? Obviously, fixing that platform. Going through our first run through of the show, uh, and you know, top to bottom, with lighting, some costumes, and pit orchestra. So it's uh, it's really exciting, and I'm excited to see it all come together. House lights out, please. Costumes, hair and makeup, then back on stage to do bows, then run the show. And the most important job. <laughs> you guys have to open uh, your mouth. Do you, do you want me to look it up first? Today. A little bit flustered, but we're looking forward to it. You feel ready for tonight? Yeah. Make sure you're centered with me, okay? You're up, you're up, you're up. Breath in. Now. Forward in front. Light. Put it. Check. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down and we're gonna go through every single scene change. I know last time we talked through it, but this time we're actually gonna do it. Tonight is the opening of the Footlighters production of Annie Jr. Uh, we are so excited to be here, and we are really looking forward to bringing live musical theater back to Horace Mann Middle School, especially on the middle school level when it has been void for about two years. So we're, we're very pumped, very excited, and, and super grateful for the opportunity to bring it back. I'm feeling pretty hyped. I'm excited. I'm thinking it'll go outstanding, but I've been wrong before. You put in an amazing amount of work on this. You all have beautiful voices that deserve to be heard. You have beautiful ability here that deserves to be seen. You need to bring the house down tonight. You have 60 minutes to tell a story. And that's the story of Annie, okay? And the world that she lives in, and the world that you create, and the world that you populate.
not mean you lose any focus tonight. You cannot go on autopilot. You treat this like it's just as exciting as opening night. You're gonna have a whole new audience. Maybe some people who came last night will love it so much that they'll come back. But really be uh, be aware that it is like you're doing the show right, like all over again for the first time. We need that energy because it was fantastic last night. All right. With that being said, you might have some, you know, different audience reactions. You know, you never know. Each group of people who comes to see you is different. So just keep doing what you're doing. Rolling in. Uh, I did want to start uh, before we do kind of pre show ritual warm up things. I'm going to say what I usually say in that opening night and closing night are equally important. I'm so grateful that I got the chance to work with all of you, to meet some of you for the first time, to get to know some of you. It has been just an absolute pleasure. Like I said yesterday, you have done beautiful work on this. You deserve to be seen and heard and celebrated for all that you have done with this show and all that you are. So, thank you so much. Hello everybody and welcome to night two of the Frank the Letters production of Annie Junior. I'm Shane Davey and I played Oliver Warbucks. I love so many things about participating in Annie Jr. that I don't think I can pick a favorite. I met so many amazing people and made great connections and friendships. And I learned how to sing, dance, and act, and it was truly an amazing experience. We all put in very hard work, and I think that was clearly shown in our opening and closing nights. The dedication and skill shown by my fellow cast members amazed me, and it really helped me push myself make sure I gave my all just like they did. This was some of the most fun I've had in a very long time and I can't wait to be part of something like this again. Oliver Warbucks signing off. Hi I'm Paige, I was a photographer for Annie Jr. and one thing I loved about this production was getting to capture the cast and all their hard work that they put into this play and I thought that Annie Jr. was amazing and everyone did such a good job with their role. Hi, I'm Kayla, and the best part about making Annie probably would be getting to learn all of our scenes, getting to make them and put them all together in the end, especially Hard Knock Life, which was a very fun and amazing scene, and how I thought the show went, I think it went really well, it was amazing, I got a lot of praise from family members and a lot of friends who have said it was amazing and in general everything just pieced together in the end and it was wonderful. My favorite part of making Annie was watching everything all come together from building sets to opening night. I think it came out incredible and we have everyone involved to thank for that. Hi, my name is Kira Yondo and I play Lily St. Regis in the production of Annie Jr. And um, my favorite part of the whole production was definitely learning how to be a better actor, um, making new choices in my character, and digging deep into what I want the audience to think of Lily St. Regis, I guess. And I think it went really great, the whole production, and we all our big family, we're all good friends, and at the end of it, we're all proud of each other, and it's just a great family to be in. Um, thank you. Bye. Done, done. <laughs> Are you ready for a three, two, one closure clap? Ready? Three, two, one. Since I am 